Hello everybody, this is XIV88 with part 2 of episode 1 of a shorter show and this is another video response but also I like to talk about the sports on the show and we're going to combine that into one and this is uh, this goes out to a video from Cowboy TD uh, I like to talk about two team uh, two of my favorite conferences in college football the Big Ten and the Big Twelve and this is what rumors have been spraying all around um, talking about the Big Ten wants the University of Texas to be part of their conference and become the 12 uh, Big Ten team that they've wanted for and for a while they've been wanting a uh, a 12 team in the Big 12 and not the Big 12 the Big Ten and that kind of made me wonder about would this be a good fit for the Texas Longhorns compared to Syracuse, Rutgers, Yukon, Pitt, uh, Temple, any close team. And I think this would be a good, um, a good, I and mean, I got some pros and cons to talk about, but let's talk about um, four of the teams that I've known, I've been watching college football since 1994. And the four teams that come in my head that Texas has played in the past and against Big Ten teams, Penn State, Michigan, Ohio State, and Iowa, and the most have been Ohio State. Um, and let me just go through here. Past meetings uh, versus Penn State, they lost in the 19 in the New Year's Day 97 Tostitos Fiesta Bowl game, 38 to 15. And then Michigan, they won the 05 2005 Rose Bowl game, presented by City, 38-37, thanks to Dusty Magnum, uh, Mangum, and his field goal. And then those three matchups versus Ohio State. They won their 05 meeting at the Horseshoe, 25-22. A loss at, um, DK, uh, at Memorial Stadium, 24-7. And then they won in the two in last year's uh, Fiesta Bowl, 24-21. And then the Iowa matchup of the year after they won the national championship, they won in the Alabama Bowl 26-24. Now that's history. Now what would this mean? Uh, I got some pros and cons if you, uh, the Texas Longhorns join the Big Ten. And here are the pros. It would give the, uh, the, the Big Ten 12 teams. Uh, it would then make a conference championship game with two divisions. It would bring uh, Texas millions of dollars in TV uh, contracts. Uh, it could bring the and it could bring the Big Ten to dominance, just like the SEC has won the last four national championships in college football. Now the cons: leaving the Big Twelve. What about the rivalry games? The Red River Shootout has been more than a hundred years old. Uh, this, I think, would be the 105th meeting coming up this year. The schedule. Will their rivalry games like A&M, uh, Oklahoma, or Tech, and or Nebraska be a part of? Um, be a part of the non-conference Big Ten Big Ten schedule. It could also bring the Big 12 to a loss of respect. I know Nebraska is resurging uh, after their dominance in this past season's Holiday Bowl, and that could mean Oklahoma would be the Big 12 South powerhouse for years to come, many, many, many years to come if Texas leaves. Because I don't expect to be A&M or Tech to be anywhere close of, to being an Oklahoma powerhouse. But that's just me talking. Um, I do would love to have the Longhorns, you know, be part of the Big Ten. 
I think it would be a great fit. I uh, just uh, want to say that as a little motivation, but we don't know if Texas will join the Big Ten in the future. All I know is they have a big. T they already have their schedule made up for 2010, maybe 2011. But um, as far as I know, Penn State, on the other hand, have two years with Alabama this year, and next year, followed by two years with Rutgers and Virginia. So I know. So definitely, Penn State in the future has games with Oak uh, with. The national champions, Rutgers, and Virginia, which Virginia we pay, we did play in the past, and we did play Alabama in the past in those Sugar Bowl matchups.